From that Cedar Mountain battle of 1862. Now Dave Rowe of the Squid Jiggers has written a story about the tale. The Collies and the community decided to bury the Reb in the local cemetery. History judges this to be a compassionate act, especially when one considers that Gray sent more sons to the Civil War than any other main town. I think of what they would, went through, and, and you know, they paid money to have their son brought home, and, and he didn't come. You know, and the, they were presented with a Confederate soldier, and they had a choice to make. You know, what do we do? What do we do? And, and they did what I think reasonable people would do, which is to buy a, a plot and bury him like their own, because they knew that he was somebody's son. The tombstone bears the name Stranger and has attracted quite a bit of interest over the last century and a half. From time to time, historians make serious efforts to figure out who the stranger was. The latest attempt occurred just a couple of years ago. Chris Stilke does maintenance on the cemetery. A lady called me two years ago saying that she believed that she was the next of kin and she wanted to dig him up and do DNA testing and then move him to South Carolina with his family. A follow-up never came, but stories and rumors abound. One is that Lieutenant Colley isn't really here. I heard the same thing, but as soon as I heard it, I came up and probed that lot, and there is a box under that monument. Um, I can't prove he's in it, but somebody went a long ways to fake it if he's not. It's the stranger in gray. So a story that began before there was a Memorial Day, before there was a Decoration Day, continues to capture the curiosity of contemporary citizens. Now, thanks to Dave Rowe, the story will endure in song.